Hey everyone, Omar Kazarski, Creative Director of Bauer Web Solutions, www.bauerwebsolutions.com. And in this uh, video tutorial overview, I'm going to show you the uh, overall features of VPASP, specifically the Backend Administrator uh, Council. So if you were to visit our website at www.bowerwebsolutions.com and go to our services section, you'll see a section there for e-commerce, which features, among other things, a page dedicated to the software VPASP. It's a commercial-grade uh, software uh, that allows uh, to create e-commerce websites with a lot of powerful features. So it's not just a shopping cart, but it's a, it's a whole lot more. So if I go to this page here, you will see that on our website we have links to VPASP's uh, demo as far as the front end, what the customers see or the general public, as well as the administrator or site owner. So I want to log into that right now. Okay, so here is the home page of the VPASP uh, admin control panel, which gives you a basic overview of the current statistics of your site as far as uh, monthly sales and the new orders that have come in, as well as who you're logged in as currently and the status of things such as unprocessed orders and orders in today, gift certificates, reviews, etc. So up on the top left, you have your various tabs with drop down. So as I mentioned before, this is the home page. Within the store section, this is where one would um, edit the products. So if I click on products here, you see here, here are the list of products. If I needed to add a new product, I would click on, once I get to the view edit product section, I would click on this link here to add a new record. Or I can look at my existing products here. And if I wanted to edit one, I would click on the little edit icon that's associated with a particular entry. So once I'm editing a product or the product setup is where I can change the display name or the product you know, code for internal use, changing the short description as well as the longer description. And you'll see here you have a WYSIWYG editor that you can make basic changes to your content as far as the font size, the color, the alignment, as well as inserting things like a hyperlink or a table or an image of YouTube video, etc. And you have additional uh, fields here to add additional images or zoomed in images, the pricing and the shipping and weight information, the categories associated with this product, meta information for use for search engines like uh, keywords and descriptions, uh, features related to the product, cross selling or upselling. For instance, if you sell a product and you could state on the site, well people interested in this product also bought these products. That's what they call cross-selling. And additional fields and advanced fields. So a lot of information here when you're you're adding or editing a product. So once again that's store and products. Categories from the store menu is where you add different categories for uh, your different products whether it's say it's uh, you know homeware or kitchenware or um, a variety of different uh, different categories. You have your order information here showing you orders that have come in whether they've been processed or not if you need to uh, view or edit them or print them out or uh, re-email to a customer what have you. And within the store menu you have different reports that you can access to give you uh, a clear understanding of the different aspects of your site and based upon uh, various uh, uh, ranges that you can specify. You have a section here for within the store for drop shippers or suppliers. You can edit that information. And within the store menu here is the page manager where you can edit most of the content within your static pages of your site. That is to say pages that don't necessarily deal with the products themselves. So for instance here uh, I have an about us page here. I could click on that and this is the uh, content that shows if someone goes to the about us page. So I can edit all of this content here using the different editor and then once I'm done I would then uh, update the record. If you're um, it's always a good idea whether you're editing uh, or creating a new um, product or a new page is always to first make a copy of the record first 
then you can make the changes to that copy by then updating the record as opposed to working on the original in case you uh, make a mistake it's always a lot easier to to make a copy first make the changes and then update that record okay but that's all within the page manager if your VPASP has a blog that is to say you're writing a kind of ongoing commentary on a daily weekly or monthly basis about maybe something in your industry um, this is where you would go to either add a new blog entry or edit or delete an existing one within the store tab you have the news manager so whereas a blog would probably be a little bit more of a personal accounting or your personal opinion about a certain aspects of your industry or, or product news is kind of simply you know the facts and maybe you know simple short kind of press releases again if your VPASP has a news section or not the news manager section within the store drop down is where you would go to edit that content you have a customer section here so this is where you can view and edit the customer information as far as updating their uh, street address telephone number etc you can within customers create different customer groups if you so desired as well as seeing the orders from each specific customer rather than just uh, uh, an orders list as we saw from the store okay Discount and Coupon Manager is the next tab. It's the fourth tab over, so that allows you, among other things, we have a section here to allow for uh, quantity discounts. So if someone ad orders more than, the say, one, if they order like 20 or 30 or whatever number you set for a particular product, you can offer them a discount. You can also offer coupons, and people can kind of redeem those coupons to get a certain price or percentage off of their next order and you can also assign discounts to customer bases maybe you have a particular customer that's you know either related or a good strategic partner of, of your company in the business world and you want to give them a particular discount you can give them discounts on a customer by customer basis the uh, next tab the fifth tab over deals with the website itself so you have the menu manager which is how you can um, modify drop-down menus within your site you have the layout manager which uh, allows you to change the default template of the site whether you want it to be a, a three column layout or a two column layout and it also allows you to change the content within the you know the home page or the the general header and footer information of the pages like the the header that contains the logo or the top right hand section or what information shows up on the left or right or center sections of your pages here so you know you can add uh, a new section by adding a box and they have you know uh, pre-created little uh, widgets of different sections like a random product section or a news links or top sellers as well as you can create what they call a free text box where you can add your own HTML code to put in like a special message or what have you and then you can see here shows the information that will show up on the bottom section or the footer of your pages so once again that's in website and layout manager the template CSS manager that's a little bit more advanced so if you have a working and strong knowledge of HTML and CSS or cascading style sheet uh, coding language you'll be able to you know change the the coding of your site to, to change various uh, visual aspects of your site's theme such as colors and font size etc but if you're not familiar with CSS uh, please give us a call and then we can make those uh, changes for you since we're well versed in those coding languages and technology. So in the next tab you have your modules and these are add-ons to your VPASP to add a variety of, of features here. So you have an affiliate manager that allows you, you know, people to kind of act as a third-party representative and by them sending uh, customers your way you uh, reward them in in some manner so you have in, in essence a sales force of other websites kind of referring customers to your online store you have the SEO manager which you know helps to create uh, different functionality to increase your visibility with the different search engines you have a module here for repeat or uh, recurring billing 
you have an invoice manager allowing you to deal and display and search your various invoices you have a gift registry that people can uh, sign up for you have a, a customer loyalty points uh, program built into VPASP a pin delivery uh, number here for security purposes uh, also in modules is where you would deal with gift certificates both redeeming and um, you know authorizing gift certificates a uh, phone mail order system if you have that enabled as well as Google related add-ons for things like you know Google local business you know map setup and a site map and analytics as well as a Google uh, product feed as well and then in the modules you have your gateway setup so what a gateway is in essence in a, in a basic transaction there are two parties involved the seller and the buyer in an online transaction or a transaction that um, happens like let's say with a credit card you have the the, the buyer who pays the bank credit card fee and then that bank gives the um, seller that money so that would be in a regular brick and mortar store in a e-commerce transaction there's something known as a gateway so customer goes to an online store enters his credit card that information goes to a computer gateway the gateway mechanism or party sends that information to the bank and then the bank sends it off to the uh, seller so within the module section and payment gateways this is where you can configure you know if you're using PayPal or credit cards or some other uh, third-party gateway in the miscellaneous section this is where we have things such as you know you can export out your information or you can bulk import data from like say an Excel spreadsheet into your store to uh, populate it um, you can edit the various tables or information that make up your e-commerce store you have the, the server components you know again it's more technical things as far as the also the, uh, the the database related tools here and multiple sites so for the most part you know the the general administrative restore would not be coming all that often to the miscellaneous section here and then finally we have the advanced settings uh, section of the VPASP software where you change general uh, settings for your configuration, the site details, security related things, your business and contact information. Uh, you can change aspects about the administrative navigation and user management so if you have somebody else working for your company and you want to give them administrative access you could actually give them full administrative access to do anything and everything but if you want to kind of limit their access you can only have them access certain features of the site in advanced settings we also have our international settings we're dealing with different currencies in different countries our shipping and handling area here dealing with your different uh, methods of delivery you know air mail normal US mail uh, parcel post etc and if you have the need to remove the credit card information from the database although the database stores the information encrypted sometimes as an added level of security you might want to clear out all that credit card information you have on file once of course you've processed the orders because if an order is unprocessed and you delete that credit card information you're going to need to contact the customer again and have them uh, resend that uh, credit card information um, so that's an overview of VPASP you'll notice if you logged in to the demo admin section they actually have links here on the bottom to uh, the demo of the front end of the store so we advise people to look at that as well so you can get an idea of how VPASP works out of the box without any custom uh, installation or, or customization of the coding although at Bauer Web Solutions we can add um, a variety of degrees or levels of customization and uh, take the VPASP base installation and do more with it but the 
demos that you see online just shows you what it does simply right out of the box and they do have a link here for video tutorials to uh, they have uh, a handful of video tutorials to show you how to do basic things like adding a product uh, creating an invoice you know etc things like that but if you have any questions or are interested in a VPASP store of your own uh, please feel free to contact us at our website www.bowerwebsolutions.com